So welcome everybody to our monthly healing meditation circle. If you uh, are watching later and you don't know me, I am Lita Gotti, founder of Connection to Healing, home of the Infinite Child Institute. And of course, it's with all the children that my heart is, because I know that that is how we are changing the world by helping them remember who they are. And every time that we come together, yes, we're coming together for healing, but we're also coming to help raise the vibration of the planet. So I'm going to ask you now to just go into your hearts. I always love to think of my grandchildren immediately takes me into my heart. So you can just think of someone you love or just something that you love. I have the most beautiful orchids right now that are growing. It's orchid season in Florida. And someone told me that orchids like to be in families. They like to be in groups and that they grow better that way. I never knew that. So I made sure that they're all kind of gathered together and they've made this beautiful orchid family. And every time I see them or just think of them as I am now and knowing what they look like, I'm immediately taken into my heart. That is the power that these beautiful flowers have. So you can just think of something like that too, to bring you into your heart. And we're just going to take some breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth. And let us begin today with the Ruach breath of three. I know many times that we do a breath of four, but I'm being given the message, the guidance that it is three that is our number today because three is bringing together the mind, the body, the spirit. It's bringing together the divine feminine part of ourselves, the divine masculine and us. It's that sacred triad of which we are such a big part. And if this is your first time participating in our circle, whether it's now or watching, the way it works is I just open myself up to spirit and I just allow whatever wants to come through to come through. And so we are usually guided and go on a journey of sorts a journey that will bring healing. So as we begin now with this beautiful breath of three, we're going to breathe into the count of three, hold for three, breathe out for three. Breathe in for three, hold for three, 
breathe out for three. Breathe in for three. Hold for three. Breathe out for three. And the room is beginning to fill with the light beings, with all of our guides and teachers, with Metatron, who is the overseer of our circle. And Metatron also has another face known as Archangel Yophael, Angel of Beauty. And of course, we are always welcoming Archangel Uriel. Some call Archangel Uriel Uriel, it doesn't matter. Angel of Light. We are welcoming Raphael as always. Angel of Healing. And Michael. Whose name means who is like the divine, however you think of the divine. angels who are already here as as our custom we use the two versions the version that is the Kabbalistic version in Hebrew and the translation and then the Council of Love version so that we are bringing this prayer to post the archangels so we have a very protected sacred space we're doing it three times <clears throat>
And if you're not familiar with the archangels that we call in, they are universal. They have Hebrew names because Hebrew is known as the language of light, as are other languages that are used, such as Sanskrit. Michael means who is like the divine. The L part is one of the attributes of the divine head. There are many, many names. And Gabriel, who's known as Gabriel or Gabriel. Michael is Michael. Is known as the angel of strength. And that strength is given to us also when we, we call this archangel in. And there is Raphael who is also called Raphael, which means healer of the divine. The L again, Rafa means healer. Now, we have Oriel or means light and it is light of the divine or God or source one or creator however you know or call the oneness there are many names and they're all the same they are names of love and we have Yophael which means beauty of the divine. It also, all these names translate the other way. It's beauty of the divine and divine of the beauty. Healer of God, God is my healer. Many different ways. So as they take their places, step aside. It is Shekhinah who is known as the Divine Mother that wishes to come tonight. Beloveds, yes, it is I, the mother of your heart, the mother of your compassion, the mother of your sweetness. Do you not think that you are sweet? Oh, perhaps as a child, you had people telling you that you were sweet. But you are sweetness itself. You are the sweetness of my very being. And yes, there has been much sweetness, has there not, with all the candy with the Easter holiday. But there is a sweetness that is even deeper. It is a sweetness that you were born with and you are designed with. It is a sweetness that will come forth if you will allow it. And I will tell you that it will come forth even if you do not allow it because I see who you are. So what shall we do with this sweetness, beloveds? Where shall we find it within your very being? There is a sweetness, even if you are enduring trials, 
because as you reach out, the sweetness within is saying, please, Divine Mother Shekhina, Source One God, will you not help me? And there is that trust within for you would not be reaching out now, would you? As you gather here together, you are also reaching out, whether it is for you personally or for a loved one or for the collective, for the children, it does not matter because When you reach out for one, you are reaching out for all. And this brings a joy, the sweetness of joy that there is reaching out because the way that we have designed things is that there is not interference and there is not the help unless you ask. So it is with gratitude, yes, gratitude is part of who I am, who you are, that you are gathering in this sacred circle. For you are the ones that I have called. So, I leave you now with this thought, but I am still always here to find the sweetness and yes, if it means eating some chocolate sometimes, that is quite all right, because that is a gift for you to experience sweetness in the physical dimension and to help you find it within. Call on me always. I hear your calls even when you feel you are not calling. Farewell. And now, as we get ready to go to the dimensions of healing. I'm going to just ask you to once again be in your hearts and to decide what it is you wish for tonight. It can be quite lengthy. For you, for loved ones, for the world, know that when we pray for one and ask for one, we are bringing to all. sacred words of Ahava, love, all three syllables are Ah, the universal, vowel for love. Oh, oh, oh.
humorous <laughs> but there are all sorts of uh, lollipops <laughs> that are gathering and I suppose it's to remind us of sweetness to find the sweetness and they are now turning into angels of joy Many different beautiful colors like you know those kind of lollipops that they're swirls and they have all those colors that's what it reminds me of so it's like they're swirling energies but they are angels and with the sweetness and they are gathering around us and they are bringing their beautiful swirls and they are swirling from one to another and this is being extended out to all who are in our circle whether they are here now or in our thoughts or here later. Circling. So we are one circle connected heart to heart. And there is a basket. that is coming with many seats and inside this basket are many kinds of candies but instead of candies they are these swirling energy balls they are sweetness And we're going to just let it now as we each take our place on a seat that it takes us up swirling and swirling and Archangel Michael has put a protective cover over us we go up up through our galaxy past the Sun past our stars the central sun 
We are just going through this portal. And it's kind of reminding me today of like, I guess, Disney World, <laughs> bringing us back to the sweetness of a child's belief of enjoying the sweet chocolates and candies. There was a game that used to be called Candyland. <laughs> As we are taken through this portal, And as we come to the other side, we find ourselves going up now through a mountain this time in the inside. There are many that in layers of this mountain that are asking us for some of this sweetness because they are ready to come forth in unity. They have been hidden all of this time and they are ready to allow their stories to be healed. So each one is just, area is getting one of these swirling sweet energies so that might be accomplished. As we go further up and up till we come to the very top. And as this mountain opens up, we are now in Source one, you may know it as the throne of God, you may know it as the 13th octave, you may know it as creator source energy, it does not matter. There are many names and there are many paths up the mountain, through the mountain, but they all lead to the same place. And there we are merged into this sacred energy of the Divine Mother, Father, One. And this beautiful sacred triangle, triad has formed that we are a part of. For yes, a part of us is also of this essence that brings the healing. I am Archangel Yophael, Angel of Beauty, Angel of the Beauty of You. For did you not know that we are connected? For when you show the beauty of who you are, it enhances the beauty of my energy.
Now let us sit together in the middle of the tree of life in Tiferet. which is also the sacred heart space. And there is beauty and sweetness, is there not? But there is beauty in every cell of your essence. You were designed as such and you were designed as such with your cooperation and your doing. You were designed to be able to open up and allow the beauty within to radiate outwards. Are there times when you wonder, is there really beauty within me, Yophael? I don't always feel beautiful. And sometimes I look at myself and I find all the things that are in need of improvement or healing. And I say to you, There is a beauty in no matter how you view yourself. I'm asking you now to view yourself from a different lens, to see the shining brightness that is coming from your crown, to see the compassion, the beauty of compassion that is coming from your heart, the caring, and what your hands do for so many. Oh, I see you, I know what you do. And the beauty of your physical self. No that if you focus on the beauty, this is a way to heal. Now can you find beauty in that which you may consider not beautiful? Perhaps things that are happening in the world and you say, well, where is the beauty in that? That is why we are here tonight, is it not? To shift, to change. But know that beauty is found everywhere. When a mother calls out for help and there is no one to answer that call, When you have compassion and you send hope and you see a beautiful flower blooming, the beauty that you are witnessing is being sent to that young mother. Beauty has a power greater than you really have ever thought about. That is why the world has so much beauty and why nature especially has beauty for you to look at, to envelop yourself in, to share with others. So I leave you with these thoughts, beloved. Know that if you find the beauty, 
in a flower or in the smile of a child or in the wrinkles on your face. You are bringing beauty into consciousness and that is radiating to all who need some beauty in their lives. So thank you. And I leave you with the beauty of these thoughts. Farewell. And we are at this time calling in the Holy Spirit, Raka Kodesh. And these swirling, beautiful energies that are of sweetness are coming down now through our crown. And we allow them to go even further with the sacred words of the spheres of the tree of life as it comes down through the crown, the right forehead and the left forehead, forming a sacred triangle, coming down from the right shoulder to the left shoulder to the heart center, forming another triangle, the three, going down to the physical, the hips, the right hip, the left hip, the pelvic area, another triangle going into Gaia. I call them now with the sacred words. taking place, going down through our free feet so that it may be shared with Gaia, with Mother Earth, with the collective. It is now coming back up as this beautiful swirling sweet energies. They are coming up now through all the chakras coming up through the root, the red, swirling, bringing sweetness and beauty, coming up through the clay pubic, coming up through the sacral, the orange, swirling, cleansing, coming up through the 
the amber, the umbilical cord, to the solar plexus, the yellow, releasing much, clearing much, coming up now through the halion, the gateway to the galactics. Coming up now through the heart, the green. Coming up now through the high heart, the saran. Coming up now to the lurion, the clavicle. Coming up now to the throat, the blue. Coming up now to the gray alsha, the eyebrows, the fourth eye. Coming up now to the magenta, the third eye. And including the fifth eye, the eyes of the Divine Mother, Shekhina. Coming up further into the crown, the violet. Swirling, twirling bringing healing, going further up, up and up, back into the heavens, coming down now into the heart, Coming now and gathering together all of our prayers, all of our intentions, all of our thoughts, bringing them into one massive, swirling, beautiful sweetness. Now radiating out into the world finding its way into all of the bodies of water, so that any time there is a sip of water, it goes into the essence of every being on earth, filling up the earth, the grass, the trees, the flowers, going into all of the political systems, all the places that there is unrest, that there is war, going into homes where there is division. Because as Archangel Michael is saying, beloveds, if there is a division in the home, do you not think that it radiates outward? This is where it must begin to heal. So go into your hearts now and any division you have within yourself, let this swirling mass of sweetness Take that for you and let it go in and become part of the swirls and the twirlings. And know that there is a gift that is being given to each of us tonight. And it is this gift of that energy. It is a powerful healing energy. It's like a ball of swirling and twirling. I wish I could explain it better, but perhaps your heart can just feel it. Know that it is being put in your heart and you may access it at any time and I'm asking Archangel Michael 
to please take at this point anything that is reluctant to let go of, anything that is reluctant to leave from within each of us, from those we are praying for that it is now taken and transmuted. Once again now going to find our places in the seats of our basket, the basket of Candyland I suppose, as we slowly now with the dome put over us make our way down the spiral. through the central sun, slowly spiraling back down, further down, further down, further down, down till you find yourselves once again in your own room, sitting or lying down. And begin to feel your legs and your feet where you're sitting or lying. And if you wish to do so, take some breaths in and out so you feel very grounded. Feel that there is a red cord going from your heart down into Gaia, Mother Earth. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes or perhaps you'd like to stay in this sacred space for a while longer. All is wonderful. And we are giving thanks to all who came to help us this evening, or if it's daytime for you. And we are especially thanking Archangel Yophael and Shahina, the Divine Mother, and Archangel Michael for your beautiful messages to us. And we are thanking the Angels of sweetness is the only way that I can think to call them for the beautiful gift that you've given us that we can access at any time. Thank you. <laughs> 